Yeah, the big sagebush is more like an average sagebush. Kind of a, uh... Kind of a mediocre-sized sagebush. Hello, everybody. Gray still plays, and we're back with more Taito Ecology. No time for BS. Back in the grazer tier, things are looking pretty good, actually. Our grasses have really expanded. Holy cow, look at all this galate... <laughs> Gal... <laughs> galetta grass. There we go. Look at all this galetta grass everywhere. It is literally everywhere. Actually, some things that I want to do are continue to expand our tree population. We don't have too many of them. Let's go over here. Remember, those honey mesquites are a favorite of all. Let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit and see where I can drop a few of these down. Wow, this grass has, like, literally taken up residency everywhere. Holy cow. Oh, I wonder if I could place this that far away. No, I can't. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab our little owlbot. Although, I guess he's been decommissioned. But our, our once great owlbot and put down some various trees here. Yes, yes, excellent. There we are. Get some trees down. Get more some uh, Saga Arrows down. These beautiful, beautiful cactuses. And we've got a little guy over here eating around. This looks like a mule deer. There it is. Having a having a bite of the desert spoon. Desert spoon's looking a little beat up. Everything's still pretty good, though. How's our bees doing? 100 bees. Have these guys had any juveniles? No, they haven't. Pronghorn antelopes not doing any reproduction. Holy cow. Jackrabbits, 20 juveniles. That's what I'm talking about. You can always leave it to the jackrabbits to reproduce. They're doing pretty good. We got one jackrabbit over here and two jackrabbits over here. And it looks like this cougar may be stalking around here. I'm not sure what they're doing. The hunger's at 77%. Could they be going for this little tiny jackrabbit? Let's see. Nope. Leaving that jackrabbit alone. Leaving the pronghorn antelope alone. Leaving that jackrabbit alone. Alright. Oh, no! Right to the ground! Oh, if you click a couple times on the cougar, he really goes crazy. What was that? Was that like a little, uh... <clears throat> was that... Oh, man, I am flying all over the place. Oh, the little jackrabbit! No, jackrabbit! Don't leave us! Ah, well... Thus is the <laughs> thus is ecology, I suppose. That cougar had to survive after all. He can't just he can't just sit there and starve to death. Put down a nice desert willow. If I can find a spot for you anywhere, anywhere desert willow, can we go anywhere? Okay. Let's cancel this. Let's zoom out like this. How about that? Can we find any place? For a desert willow. Anywhere around here. Holy cow. We have a lot of grasses, I guess. I had no idea. The grasses have really expanded. We don't have too many trees, though. That's the only issue. And I want to know if there's any place I can put stuff like... Oh, look! There's a spot! At this point, it's almost like, where can you find the slightest, slightest big of space to shove a tree in? Or a cactus in this in this instance there we go got one going pretty darn good let's put trees down before we put grasses down then because the trees take up the most space and they are a pain in the neck to put down later i do like these desert willows i like these honey mesquites as well honey mesquites are actually pretty decent size quite honestly put that there a little more honey mesquiteness over here actually this is a it's a regular old honey mesquite smorgasbord. Might want to buy some more energy. We've got plenty of Taito coins, right? So why not spend them? More Joshua trees as well by this little watering hole. Put one there. Now I do want to... What else do I want to do? Put this down. One of these. Let me go take a look at what other types of cactus we have. Oh, the Beaverdale cactus. Very tiny looking, but still pretty cool. A little barrel cactus over here. Maybe another little barrel cactus over here. Chrysody bush. Put some of that down. Some of that down. Where can I sh where can I stick you? Right there. Ocotillos. Could always use some of those grasses. Uh, desert spoons. Yep, they definitely get eaten by various mule deers as we've seen before. So someone loves them. Big sage bush. 
not really big in comparison to everything else. Let's zoom in down a little bit and take a look here for our comparison's sake. Yeah, the big sagebush is more like an average sagebush. Kind of a, uh, kind of a mediocre sized sagebush. I don't know, maybe in the land of sage bushes, it is not too shabby. Put down some grass over here. Obviously, this stuff expands like crazy, so we won't go too nuts with it. Put down a few pieces here, here, maybe some by the water over here. There we are. Joint furs there. Gonna need a couple of decomposers for sure, which means we're gonna need a little bit more energy. And... The next episode I put up will be an episode featuring the downloadable content, so look forward to that. If you do watch Taito Ecology on the channel, we're going to see the downloadable content. It is well worth it because it is pretty darn cool. Joint fur, there we are. They still have not released the information. It is still Monday for me right now. I don't know what it might be for you guys. Probably Wednesday when you're seeing this. But they have not released the downloadable content information yet, so I still can't talk about it that much. Oh, I saw like the shadow shifting over here. Is something going on with this Joshua tree? Uh, pollination is not needed, although we could probably put down a pollinator over here because I don't think that we have any. What do we have? What do we have? I think we may have gone too far. How about this way? Okay, I guess we didn't go far enough. You know I love my bees. Marine blue. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Where's the bees at? Where's them bees at? Yes. There we go. Bees. Excellent. While we're at it, I'll put down some ants as well. Because I want to get down some jackrabbits. There we are. Maybe another. Oh, thank you for 18 Taito coins. Our diversity score right around 20 for each category. Seems pretty good. More jackrabbits. You guys need to continue breeding for the benefit of all the grazers. Deer mouse, put you right about here. I should be plenty of room for you to roam around in. Another kangaroo rat over here. We actually don't have too many animals over here, if you notice. Our animals kind of start right over here. These bunch of deer mice, there's only two of them left. Poor guys. They're almost extinct in that little section of the world. Ooh, a coral snake. This consumer can eat poisonous and venomous life forms. Put down a coral snake over here. Put down an armadillo over here. Put down a king snake over here. Now, everyone should be pretty happy at that point. And why not? We'll, put, we'll throw down a badger as well. The badgers love honey. And obviously they love snakes and such as well. So they'll be eating plenty of that. Desert tortoise. Yep. Liking it. Throw down the desert tortoise. Let's take a look at this tortoise compared to what we had the last time, which was that, uh, what was it, like the yellow, the yellow-footed tortoise? Desert tortoises are herbivores. They eat fruits, seeds, leaves, and other plant matter. Young tortoises rely on camouflage to stay hidden from predators. If a desert tortoise feels that it is under attack... I remember this! It will empty its bladder in defense! Yes! Oh, you guys are buddy of mine. Buddies of mine. I remember you now. All I needed to know was that one little factoid, and I remember anything. You guys beating up my honeybees yet? Nope. All right, good. So the honeybees are still fine. Glad to hear it. Uh, yeah, more armadillos. Armadillo right about here. Now we need to put down some more trees and the like. Let's go over here to our life bar for trees. Did this just... Did this, did this just like... Oh, wow. There, beating up the grass. Holy cow. All right. Hold on. Let me get you guys more food. More of that. Uh, a bush. Actually, three bushes, apparently. And we're going to have to put down all kinds of galetta grass. Because, wow, those guys ate it quick. <laughs> we'll put it right by them, actually. Uh, maybe we'll even put a few clusters right by them. A group of mushrooms has low population. Badgers, have you been eating all of my mushrooms? Can you leave them alone for at least a little bit? Badgers must like mushrooms. The song that I've heard about it told me so. I think that that song has lost popularity. Is the water looking bluer or is it just me? I don't know. 
You guys remember that song? Was it like badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom? Yeah, that song is just as annoying as I remember it. Every once in a while, to bring back the good old days, my wife will play that song next to me, seated in her setup that she has, her computer and such. Every once in a while, when I can rope her into playing a game with me, it actually turns out pretty well because we can communicate since we're right next to one another. It is pretty fun that way, I'm not gonna lie. She's not too much of a gamer. But when I can rope her into playing something, I, I, I have a good time with it. Let's go ahead and buy some more energy. Go ahead and swoop down a little bit here and see how things are doing. Man, you rabbits. You rabbits really know how to eat dang near everything I put down. There's some agave as well. You guys eat agave? This is a, t this is a tough, this is tough to eat. Do rabbits eat tough things? I'm pretty sure they did. Let's kind of move over here. Uh, yes, it can eat tough things. That's good. I know when we see rabbits around the neighborhood, man, you will see a rabbit with a weed in its mouth like 85 times the size of the rabbit. It's actually hilarious to watch. It's just little tiny rabbit with this massive, massive plant life dangling out of its mouth. And the the weeds around here are like legitimately crazy. They have razor-like leaves on them. I mean, it's they actually are serrated leaves that you can legitimately cut yourself on. I've done it. And these these rabbits take it out like it's nothing. You just watch this this two and a half foot long weed in their mouth and their little mouth is going mim, 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 and it slowly disappears it's amazing how a little critter like that can eat so much let's put down another pack of mushrooms right here it's amazing how they can eat so much i don't know how they do it well i know it said they eat pretty much all day every day so in retrospect it does make sense let's go over here to our trees and put down a few more of the big old cactuses and the big old joshua trees because, like I said, we don't want to run out of space for them. And whenever, wherever I can shove one in, right here on the waterline. There we go. Popped up to be quite a quite a towering Joshua tree, actually. Anyone remember what kind of fruit are on the Joshua tree? I do not remember. Oh, rad energy. Spend some more Taito coins. Get that energy back. You know what would be cool? Is if there was a... Like, other stuff that you could buy with title coins. Like, if there was, um, like, a big upgrade that you could buy that would increase the speed that energy, that energy regenerates. You know what I mean? Like, by a set amount. Like, almost like a set of upgrades that you could buy for each biome. And maybe there would be, like, levels of it and stuff like that. More stuff to buy with the title coins. That's basically what I have to say. Little upgrades. Little potential benefits that you can bring to your biome like over time just through your hard work of making everyone happy more of these man i love these things there we go oh yeah it's looking it's looking pretty good over here now we're starting to get to the point where we've almost completely wrapped around and then we're gonna have a heck of a biome let's do a real quick sweep i like to follow this water actually there we go. Follow the water around. Oh, yeah. Things are looking pretty good. What else we got? Got some berries going on over here. Is that what those are? No, I guess those are maybe like little pollen areas. Got some fruits growing on here, though. Look at this desert willow. Or at least it looks like it's fruit. There we go. Yes, flowering. Oh, they're flowers. I don't know if I'd consider them flowers or fruit. Let's click on this real quick. The sweet seed pods are enjoyed by many animals. Humans have been ha, s humans have used the sweet asasias, bitter tasting bark for various medicines. I'm not even sure how I'm pronouncing that. Probably pronouncing it quite wrong, actually. Moving through here, we've got a little deer chomping down on some of the grasses. These grasses are like easily self-sustaining. Now you can see they're doing great. And actually, a little guy over here having having a little something to eat right by this watering hole. That's pretty neat. This is actually a really good a really good view right here. Let me get right on top of this guy. Sweet. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 
right there. Good view. A little jackrabbit in the background, too, hopping around right there. All right. Grazer's looking pretty full. Not too much further to go until we fill it out. And by that time, the DLC will be out, and we can start playing with that. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.